Hello. It's uh, evening after classes, but it's not kind of midnight evening. So, so it's nine thirty or ten maybe. I don't know. And uh, just uh, sat in the hallway, a little bit quiet, sitting next to the uh, the. Uh, closet with uh, uh, the makings of lotions and potions, you know, so, so, yeah, like beeswax and uh, vinegar and witch hazel and uh, up above a whole bunch of uh, uh, concentrated herbal stuff, and uh, anyway, I've already sat on not quite in the space to get up and give you a fuller tour of what is in fact a closet but now i'm cooking some soup uh, just about prepared a salad um, and uh, just uh, finished class uh, for the night and we were working on uh, some heart-centered meditations and uh, now I'm at the kind of health centered health center. Again, I'm still thinking about class, and so then we just do um, a little bit more of uh, that sort of meditation, where we are kind of attuning ourselves to the work of the heart, since we are with the health ingredients. Of thinking particularly about health. We talked tonight in class about knitting the heart together, and so we're just gonna have a little meditation wherein we recognize the heart as the center point. I think for this it's easier not to think of a center point like uh, of a ruler, you know, six inches from one end, six inches from the other, um, but more of a center point of a ball. So it's equidistant from any point on the surface. So a center point in uh, more dimensions than a ruler would suggest. Hey, Suck. Now I got a little partner coming for a little visit. Hey, buddy. You're welcome. You can walk right in front, or you can join me if you want. Yeah, sure. That's a good idea. Sure. Yeah, and there's an open closet if you want to check that out. Yeah. So, uh... The meditation is to uh, tune into the the, the workings of the heart, not the goal, not the intention, just the the activity, the actions of the heart, and feel them as being the center of all that is you. There you go, look. This is open up if you want to look. Sure. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. Yeah. So you may feel that the heart is uh, in the upper part of the body, or you may feel that it's uh, in the front of the chest instead of in the middle. You may feel it's on one side more than the other, and that all may be true. But to feel the heart center as the heart center you take a look around, buddy. There's the idea of this meditation. You want to go down this one? There it goes. He wants to go downstairs, so I'll open in that. So, you're welcome to do the mudra with me, if you'd like. I'm 
trying to do is feel those actions as at the center of my being. I hope those actions are equidistant from any other part of the self, whether measured or named or known or felt or not. So I'm tuning into the actions of the heart, not their intention, not their effect, the, the actions of the heart. And feeling that heart-centeredness as the center of me. So that may mean that if I think that my heart is physically higher in my body, then I'm seeking the rest of me up here so that the physical heart then is physically in the center. But it doesn't have to be a physical thing. It can be a felt sense. It can be a mytho-appropriate expression and experience. trying to experience in this expression of self that state that I believe in that the heart is in the center so if you believe that you can join me We're doing this by seeking the relatively baggageless action of the heart, not the fact of the heart. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just finish by touching in in the heart. Saki. Thanks for joining me here, buddy. Yeah. You got some great company here. Your cat is just hanging around this vicinity while I do this. So, that's the heart health, the heart centeredness. <clears throat> Thank you.